Hi and welcome to the how-to guide brought to you by NetAngel. In this episode we are going to talk you through how to create a child's account and add them to your Microsoft family. Before you begin you'll need to have your own personal Microsoft account already set up usually identified with Outlook or Hotmail email account. Using your desired internet browser type account.microsoft.com forward slash family. Select already set up, sign in now. You are now required to enter the username that you set your Microsoft account up with. Now enter your account password and select sign in. To start, either scroll to the top of the page and select the plus sign or scroll to the bottom of the page and select add family member. So go ahead and select add family member. You're now presented with the screen add family member. To fully utilize Microsoft Family, each member or organizer will need to be added to your family group. You can either send them an invite to an alternate address and allow them to create their Hotmail or Outlook account or create one for them. In this example, we're going to create one for them. You now have the option to add them using an alternate email address such as Gmail. In this example, we want to create a new email address. Select Get New Email instead. Now enter your child's name and then select whether you want them to have an Outlook.com account or Hotmail.com account. In this example, we want Outlook.com. Select Next. Now enter the desired password for your child's account. Tick the box if you'd like to receive information, tips and offers about Microsoft products and services. We would always recommend to read the Microsoft Service Agreement and Privacy and Cookies Statement. Go ahead and select next. You're now required to enter the information about your child. So enter the first name and then the surname and select next. You're now required to enter your child's date of birth. It is really important that you enter the correct date of birth for your child. This will allow Microsoft Family to fully function and it will automatically set up the content ratings and game ratings for your child's age. Custom content settings and age ratings for your child can be amended at a later time. Select Next. Before you proceed and to confirm that you're a real person to Microsoft, you are required to enter the characters presented to you. If the characters are not clearly presented, you can select new for a new characters or alternatively, you can select audio and it will read the characters out to you. Select next to continue. You are now given the opportunity to review the legal stuff and you'll also receive a confirmation email. We would always recommend to take time to read the legal stuff. Once you've read it and you're happy to proceed, select yes, I agree. You're now presented with a screen giving you the opportunity to allow your child to sign into third party apps. In this example, I am happy for Emmy and I want to allow her to sign into third party apps. So by selecting yes, I'm agreeing to Microsoft, select continue. Fantastic, your account creation is now confirmed. You'll also receive a confirmation email. Ask a parent, activity reporting and content restrictions will automatically be switched on. You'll need to configure screen time and find your child. This can easily be done by watching our associated how-to guides. By selecting manage settings, it will allow you to configure the screen time and find your child. I want to do that at a later date, so I'm going to continue by selecting Done. You're now back in your family dashboard, and as you can see, you've got confirmation that the new family member has been added. You can now go ahead and configure the additional settings associated with Microsoft Family. And don't forget to watch our other how to guides where we'll walk you through how to set up these options. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this how to guide useful. For more how to guides, please visit www.netangel.org and don't forget to subscribe and like and share our videos.